Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will study about the right ventricle and the left ventricle that are the ventricular system of the heart. So this video will be more fruitful to you if you watch the previous video or the playlist of the heart anatomy. Okay, in that we will discuss the basics and the general orientation of the, or the position of the heart. We have discussed clearly in the previous videos. So we will not discuss that in this video. So I will request you to watch the previous videos to have a good overview of this topic. So we are going to talk about the ventricles that is the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Before starting, let me tell you about the borders and the surfaces. So in the heart we have four borders, superior border, inferior border, left border, sorry left border and the right border. And we have uh, different surfaces but the most common we have to apply in this are the sternocostal and the diaphragmatic. Okay. So sternocostal are the, this anterior side is called the sternocostal and the below surface one is called the diaphragmatic. You can see the ventricles, right ventricle situated in the anterior side and left ventricle situated on the posterior side. So the sternocostal surface will be mostly occupied by the right ventricle while only a small portion of the sternocostal surface will be occupied by the left ventricle. And what about the diaphragmatic surface? A large portion will be occupied by the left ventricle while only a smaller portion will be occupied by the right ventricle. So keeping this basic knowledge in mind, let's start with the right ventricle and the left ventricle and discuss about the different features. So right ventricle is a triangular chamber. As you can see in this model, this is the right ventricle and you can see it is a triangular chamber. Okay, so this right ventricle is a triangular chamber with two openings and it's thick walled. And similarly, left ventricle is also thick walled triangular chamber with two openings. But the thickness of left ventricle is three times as compared to that of the right ventricle so this is a notable point so left ventricle is three times as thick as the right ventricle so two openings in the case of the right ventricle are the right atrioventricular orifice and the pulmonary orifice so let's see this so we are to make a cross section at the coronary sulcus coronary sulcus separates the right auricle from the right ventricle so we have separated the auricle and the ventricle in this you can see here is a triangular chamber and you can see the two openings clearly so this is called the atrioventricular orifice and it is situated on the right side or it belongs to the right ventricle that's what is called the right atrioventricular orifice and this orifice is called the pulmonary orifice as you know this is concerned with the venous system of our body that's why it's pumping out the blood to the lungs for the different oxygenation process okay that's why it is going to the pulmonary arteries that's to the pulmonary orifice now let's talk about the left ventricle so left ventricle similarly we have two opening we have the left atrioventricular orifice similar sim that's exactly same as that of the right ventricle and apart from that we have the aortic opening so here we have the aortic opening that opens into the left ventricle so you can see that the pulmonary opening or the aortic opening are situated at the higher level these are the outflowing portion and the atrioventricular opening is situated in, in the lower region now we will study about this in the internal features in more detail but firstly we will discuss about the external features so external features we already talked about the most of the sternocostal surface sternocostal surface means the, this anterior side most of it is occupied by the right ventricle and only a small part of the diaphragmatic or the lower surface is occupied by the right ventricle these are some of the external features apart from that it forms a major portion of the inferior border you can see in this model a major portion of the inferior border is formed by the right ventricle and what about the left ventricle it forms only a small portion of the sternocostal surface this orange color structure and the most of the diaphragmatic surface that's the most of the lower surface and most of the left border so it forms most of the left border apart from that it forms the apex so here we have the apex which is formed only by the left ventricle and right ventricle has no contribution in it now we'll talk about the internal features internal features are more or less similar see interior of the each of the right ventricle and the left ventricle is divided into two parts we have a large lower rough inflowing part or through which the blood enters the chambers so you can see the, here is the atrioventricular orifice through which the blood enters in both the, either the left or the right ventricle it is large okay it is situated in the lower portion and it's rough it's if you see its texture it's rough as compared to the upper small outflowing smooth part that's the aortic or the pulmonary part in the upper region so the inflowing part is rough and larger and the outflowing part is small and smooth 
now the signal is applies to the left ventricle it has large lower rough inflowing part and a small upper a small upper smooth outflowing part and it is crescent in shape cross section the right ventricle while the left ventricle is circular so let me explain you how this happens as you all know suppose these are the chambers of the heart this is the right auricle and this is the right ventricle as i told you left ventricle switched behind and also the left auricle is also behind this so two balls are in the front and two balls just behind it only small portion is visible from the anterior side if you make a cross section of the ventricles like this it, it will appear something like this this is the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle this interventricular sulcus is directed or the interventricular septum is directed in the anterior side or pushed in the forward which makes the this right ventricle looks in the crescent shape while the left ventricle is more or less circular so this was all about the heart and heart pain of the ventricular system if you like the video please hit the like button and do subscribe and share your channel thanks for watching